he was tested positive. And uh, he told me, said the father, this is the situation. I'm tested the positive. They wanted to quarantine him at the hospital. I said, no, I will be in the room in my house. There is no need to, to be in the hospital. Because if uh, it's about Corona, I spend uh, two weeks. I, before the test, to me, I was with my family. If it's about infection, they're already infected. I don't fear. But God says, thousand, my form to your left. Ten thousand to your right. Ah, ah. Corona will go back to hell. And we started to pray. We started to pray. We prayed, 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 prayed. He also is a man of faith. He does not fear. Let me tell you. Where there is no fear, there is nothing the devil can do. Amen. Confidence in what the promises will allow your faith to work wonders. Amen. And what can produce, can perform a miracle is in you, your faith. Amen. That is the victory God has given you to overcome the world. To overcome fear, to overcome sickness, to overcome disease, to overcome everything is terrorizing the people in the world. Amen. Your faith. When your faith is active, the devil will run away. Amen. Your faith must be active. The size of your faith does not matter. It may be small, like a master seed, it work wonders. Amen. It may be medium. <laughs> it may be large or whatever, great or whatever, it will work wonders. Amen. What God did is your faith to be active. Amen. Little or big, it will work wonders. What God was reproaching, his disciples. Jesus was reproaching his disciples the lack of faith. Not the little faith. The, those who translated it by little faith and no. Because even little faith, small like a master seed, will work wonders. Amen. Are you for me? Mm. It will remove mountains. God wants it active. Now, how to make it active? Meditating on the word. Amen. Because of faith comes by hearing. hearing what? The word of it God. It means you hear over and over. Over and over. Over and over. You know the advert on TV? Repeatedly the same thing. It will be in your mind, it will be when you see hey, the advertising about KFC, the advertising about what Nando's, the advertising about uh, and uh, they are repeating it they're just so that they may create it in you. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Whatever you will expose yourself to will determine your life. Let the word of God remain in you. Let you, the word abide in you. The more you meditate in it, the more it's abiding in you. And the, when the word abides in you, 
John 15 verse 7 says, Ask whatever you want, it will be given to you. People are struggling because uh, inside the spirit, the heart is empty. Lack of word. Let the word abide in you. When the corona will come, we'll find the word. Will say, mm. God is all sicknesses, all diseases. The word in you will respond to corona. We said, no, by his straps, I'm already healed 2,000 years ago. And the fear will depart from you. But if you are empty, oh, the devil will, will just plant fear in you. Once fear is in you, he will have access to your heart. Glory to the Lamb. Amen. Let us read the last scripture before we pray. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4. From verse 20 up to 23. Lean tree, lamode. Let it abide in you. Oh, when the word is in you, it's God himself in you. The word in you is greater in you. Oh, readers, you found you read. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen to my way. Pay attention to what I say. Said. Whatever you pay attention to will influence your life. Are you with me? Amen. Pay attention to my word, to my saying. Repeat it again. My child, pay attention to what I say. Pay attention Listen to what to I my say. Way. Listen to my word. Continue. Never let them get away from you. Never, never let them. Ooh. Continue. Remember them and keep them in your heart. Remember them and keep them where? In your, in your pocket? No. Keep them away. In, in your heart. Your heart has been designed by Christ as a storeroom for the word of God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Store it in your heart. Eat it over and over. Be full of the word. Let the word of God abide in you. With abundance. When the word abides in you, sorrow will flee. Amen. Worry will flee. Amen. Anxiety will flee. Amen. Peace and the joy will take a place. Because our God is a God of peace. Continue, my daughter. They will give life and health to anyone who understands them. Hey, the word will bring life and the health. To those who understand uh, them, it will bring uh, health. It will bring healing to your flesh. It will bring healing to all your body. Hmm? Back ache, stomach ache, chest ache, <laughs> leg ache, whatever. If ache, it will bring health. Because God the power is in it. The power of God is in his word. Amen. Keep it in your heart. If it's something you can keep in your heart, you can hide in your heart is the word. Mm. Unfortunately, people, they are keeping more money in the heart, in the world, even in dreams. Huh? Huh? It's like I'm a robber at the end of the house, and your heart is where money is. No. Let your heart be occupied by the world. Hello? Mm -hmm. the, amount, the amount of money in your account, you will never forget it. You will forget to pray, but where your money is, hey! <laughs> eh? Where the money is in your wallet, 
After 30 minutes, you check. Is it the wallet there? Yeah, it's it. Yeah. The problem is not your pocket. The problem is your heart. May the word dwell in your heart. Amen. That word in your heart will bring money. Amen. Because gold and silver belong to the moody moon. Oh, glory to Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh, my daughter, finish. Be careful how you think. Be careful how you think. Uh -huh. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Your life is... Uh, Repeat it louder. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. Oh, glory to Jesus. Proverbs 20, verse 7. As you think, as you are. Hello? Now we need the word of God to frame our way of thinking, to frame our mind set, so that we may think like God thinks. Hello? Yeah. May the word enter you. It will renew your mind. It will change, frame your way of thinking. Oh, glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Protect your heart. More than you protect your wallet. Hello? Amen. Protect your heart more than you protect your bank account. Because God deals with your heart. Your heart is the point of contact between you and God. God speaks to your heart. That one, in this covenant, God decides himself. In Hebrew 8 verse 10, he will write his word in your mind. Hello? Amen. So that you may forget the tradition of your father. Eh? Glory to Jesus. Amen. He will write his word in your heart. God himself. Once you receive Christ as the Lord and the Savior, God, the writer, he start to write his word in your mind, Amen. in your heart. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. The word of God. That is the treasure God has given you. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7 says, We have that treasure in the vessel of clay. The best God can give to this world is the word. The legacy you can leave to your children is the word of God. Amen. It's not a million in the account. A million are good. But if the word is not in the heart, in the heart, they will do what the prodigal son did. They will just spend it the way they want. And they will be more miserable than before. Glory to Jesus. Amen. The word. Anytime to your children, plant the word. One verse, two verse, three verse is a seed. That seed is an incorruptible seed. It will remain forever. It will produce one day. Are you with me? Amen. The word of God. God. If the word abides in you, it will bring healing to your body. Your own body is what we read. Are you with me? Amen. The word in you is already a medicine for your bones, a medicine for your flesh, a medicine for your heart. May God help you to meditate on his word day and night. Take a pleasure in it. You will be like a tree planted beside the river. Leaves will be always green. And in every season you will produce. Amen. Even in all the age you will produce fruit. Amen. Oh, glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because there are chests. According to Psalm 92, verse 14, up to 16, up to 15, there are chests. They are like a palm tree. 
planted in the house of God. 